In the tiny town of Wilson, Wyoming, residents eat trout and eggs at Nora's Fish Creek Inn. For bread and milk or other staples, they head to Hungry Jack's General Store, which still rents movies on DVD. Wilson is close to the ski area of Jackson Hole, but a river separates it from the throngs of tourists who come through Jackson en route to Yellowstone National Park every summer. Scott Kirkpatrick bought a four-bedroom house on 1.3 acres for $2.3 million in August. He moved to the area in 1991, expecting to stay one year while he applied to business school. Instead, he took on a series of finance jobs, eventually starting his own hedge fund. Chicago native Ethan Steinberg hitchhiked in 1996 to Jackson Hole, where he got a job with a multimillionaire financial investor. Mr. Steinberg and his wife Emily finished building a six-bedroom home this year just north of Wilson's downtown. The home, along with its two six-acre lots and a historic Hardeman barn, cost about $12 million in total. Karen Horseman and her husband were living in St. Louis when they decided to try a smaller town for a year. In 2009, they rented a house and started looking for a home in Wilson. It took two years to find their home, which sits next to a 100-acre land easement and it has all the requisite mountain views. Now, the four of their seven boys who are home raise cows and chickens, make fly fishing lures, and work at a ranch in the summers. Leah Corrigan has listed her four-bedroom house on a half acre for $1.3 million in the town of Wilson. Ms. Corrigan and her husband, Ben Shortledge, moved to the area nine years ago because, as she puts it, Wilson is the epicenter of easy recreation in a beautiful place. Now they're moving to McCall, Idaho, where they bought a slightly bigger house on three acres that's near town. She says, it's like Wilson was 20 years ago.